Hello and welcome to this video, thank you for watching. This is a video about a project I did for my university degree. It is creating better pathfinding by training the agent using neural networks and genetic algorithms. So as you can see here, this is the same, the same framework as I used for my first AI and physics uh, demo, which you can see if you go to my website or check on the links in the description. Uh, but unlike unlike that, I in I don't use A star. I use neural networks and genetic algorithms to train. So I'm just going to run start start it off running, so I can talk over the top of it. Now, as you can see, this ship is terrible. Uh, this is a, a brand new population of chromosomes, which are basically the represent the weights of the neural network. So each each ship that is spawned in has a different set of weights. Uh, now the weights are linked to this neural neural network here. Now this isn't a good example because my ships keep crashing and so the neural network keeps getting changed. So I apologize for the flashing. And actually I can show you like this. So this is a neural network that I created. Uh, this node up the top here is the bias which plugs into the first hidden layer. Uh, we've also got the, so the inputs are distance to the goal, rotation that it is to the goal, uh, and then any rocks that it can detect by ray casting outwards. Now these two middle layers are the hidden layers, and they perform calculations on the inputs and use the weights in these calculations. And the output of this network is just the rotation of the cell. And the cell can either turn left, turn right, or be centered. I think that's the right word. So if we just go back to this and I speed it up, oh actually what well, I won't speed it up. As you can see, uh, this multicolored path that has been produced is produced by an A star. Now the way genetic algorithms work is you take a population and you give it a goal. So the goal of this ship is to reach this chest down in the bottom right corner. And based on how you have to rate every every ship on how based on how well it did. And by doing this, you can you can train the network, and it will be eventually become better and better because you breed uh, chromosomes with high fitness values, and then they will produce offspring. Some of them will be good, some of them will be better than the parents, and some of them will be worse. And as you can see, for my genetic algorithm, I use an A star to calculate the most optimal path, and this is used in the calculating how well the ship did. So this this current like beige like maroon line uh, that, that dark blue line uh, would do have a higher fitness value than say this navy blue line so I'm gonna leave this running for a, a little while and then I will come back and show you the progress of a few generations so it's been two generations since I, I last started and if I start the AI app now you will be able to see that a couple of the ships actually make it to the goal. So there you go, he made it. And this this one will also make it. This has only been a couple of generations and it's obviously not taking the most optimal path. This will eventually get bred out because in the fitness function I add in the time taken uh, to calculate it. So the longer the take, the worse the do. But this is only taken into account when the ship gets close to the goal. So these ships are doing exceedingly well, they're all getting there and in a second a few of them will start to do worse. Like this one, for example, as he's going nowhere near it. Now, the selection method I use, I use an elitist selection method, uh, where I just take the top 10% of the population and breed them together, and I I do a complete replace re, replace replacement mutation. Sorry, uh, after crossover uh, to enable more alleles to be produced back into the population. The ships can be trained over multiple problems, uh, all with varying difficulty. The harder the difficulty, for example, this one uh, would take much longer to learn than an example, say this one. This one would take, wouldn't take very long to learn at all. It's, it's pretty straightforward of how to get there. Its benefits over an A star is it's incredibly fast to run as it just performs calculations. The downside is it requires a long time to train and different parameters may have to be used in order to get to run correctly. So thank you for watching. Hope you've learned something. If you have any questions, just leave them in the comments below.